We were promised that things would be getting back to normal at this point. Really? But of course those promises were never met. They were empty. And here we are at the end of January 2022, realizing that our problems have only gotten worse. As we move forward into February and beyond, we should keep a close eye on key global shortages that are threatening to disrupt the American status quo. Things are not looking too good around the world right now, folks. Things are just going haywire with all these different countries. The world leaders are scratching their heads. They don't know what to do. We are faced off right now on Capitol Hill with a global crisis of biblical proportions. And one of the main things that's going on is the problems that we're having in Russia right now. But could this just be a deterrent? Yes, they are manning their men up on their borders and everything else, hundreds of thousands of men. But why? Why is it so important for them to have control over one little dinky country? And why should we care? It's like these two huge leaders between the United States and Russia are playing a chess game. They don't realize the next move could be a deadly one. While still back here in Capitol Hill, nobody seems to be able to get along. Nobody seems to be able to take care of any of the businesses that needs to be taken care of. We're all just kind of scratching our heads, trying to figure out how to survive from day to day. Really, this is where we are at in this country at this point in time, folks. To start off, the shipping, the cargo, the whole shortages of all the cargo in this country and supplies that needs to be moved from one end to the other is just astronomical. From large businesses to small businesses, they're all affected in some way, shape, or form. Nobody has been excluded. What you're seeing at the ports and everything else well, you don't see too much about that in the news anymore now, do you? Because they have other agendas now, things that they think are more important. But all these ships are still sitting there. All these containers are still sitting there. They're not being moved. There is a huge global crisis at our ports throughout the world. And the goods are not getting moved, folks. And until these things start moving, things are not going to get any better. They are trying their best at the ports to try to move these goods and get them out of there as fast as they literally can. People are doing most of their shopping online now because the big box stores just don't have the goods. The trains are moving through all this different winter weather that we have been experiencing lately. It is just horrible, but they're loaded to the max, folks. They're moving this stuff as fast as they can. They just don't have enough trains and tracks to do it all. They're running 24-7, nonstop, East Coast, West Coast, and then all the way back. Everything has to get moved. It's just, there's nobody to do it. And what are we facing now? A lot of these big companies, even small companies, have reverted to the most expensive and fastest way to get their products, which is by air freight. Flying it in from another country because they're tired of waiting for months of, because it's all setting on ships. So what do we expect? Things are not the same as they used to be. We cannot move the goods. We have a bottleneck and we can't get past it. The whole trucker situation that is taking place right now is the, probably the most scariest thing for anybody out there. For those of you that don't know, if these truckers really want to clamp down on what is taking place around the borders and how truckers are not allowed to cross and the mandates and everything else, 
if they park these trucks folks we are in trouble as a country north america will come to a standstill because there'll be no goods left to be moved because nobody is moving them period so we need to watch this situation very closely because if it changes drastically and you aren't prepared it's going to be a very bad thing these truckers hold the key they get out there and they fight and drive all day long to move the goods for us american people for everyone in the north america we need to have a little respect for these people you see ladies and gentlemen with nothing getting through the ports and nothing coming across the country you don't get your new cars you don't get your auto parts the car manufacturers aren't getting the electronics and things that they need the chip shortage is just on real this is the time when we could make a huge difference in this country and start making things ourselves once again and get out of this situation that we are in with the shelves being empty and you're not able to get the goods that you need we are just not prepared and we're not used to having these types of situations lines of people have been waiting to get into stores people are buying whatever they can get their hands on and so that they can survive factories are basically shutting down they don't have the goods to process and they don't have the products to process their goods and then we have the great politicians folks oh yes the ones that we just dream of every night right and they sit there and they try to make all these promises and then they always want to put the blame off on somebody else this person that person then we have the new york stock exchange and that's just doomed to failure it's so overpriced and everything the feds just keep printing money like it's water and it's just adding fuel to the fire what are we going to do it's going to collapse there is no doubt about it we can't keep going on the price that we're going look at bitcoin it's going down the tubes it's time has come bitcoin will keep going down and the cryptocurrency is going away until this can be straightened out and then thank you for joining me today on what lies ahead for the global economy in 2022 this was part one part two is coming up tomorrow and i hope everybody joins me for part two because in part two i'm going to explain to you exactly what we could do to try and get out of this situation that has seemed to become a catastrophe waiting to happen if only we take the steps now so i'm survival preparedness for beginners thanks for joining me today i will see you tomorrow for part two of what lies ahead for the global economy in 2022 see you then Thank you.